everyone, this is a double wave. So if you are used to my normal Tuesday, Friday uploading schedule, this is a wee bit early. I'm uploading this Thursday night. So if you're watching this in real time, hello, happy Thursday. Because Friday, when I would normally have this go live, is the opening day of the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. Ooh, what's going on with my hair? I just got my info in the mail, and what's kind of unique, it starts tomorrow, if you're watching this the day this goes live, Friday, November 3rd, for VIB Rouge. And it's 20% off everything in Sephora for VIB Rouge, um, November 3rd through November 6th. Then it's 20% off for VIBs, that's the next level down in reward levels, um, November 10th through November 15th, and 15% off for BIs, those are beauty insiders, from November 10th through November 15th. And here's something unique for 2017. Normally VIB Rouge gets to go shopping ahead of time, yay, like we do this year, and then that's it. We can't go shopping again when um, everybody else is shopping and there's always something we forget to buy, right? Well, this year Sephora is letting VIB Rouge come back and shop again November 10th through the 15th with our 20% off. I will put all that info, the dates, the percentage off, and the codes in the description box below. So let's start with my recommendations, some of which I already own, some of which I don't, and I have written down lots of things. Let's start with hair since mine is interesting. Last month there was a Sephora friends and family sale. I picked up a few things. So one of the things I picked up was, my hair is still in it, was the Amica, I don't know what this is called, the straightening brush, but it's the travel size. There is a big one for a hundred and something dollars, like a normal size brush, and then there's this little baby one for 30 something dollars. All the prices I'm about to give you are what are normal price, so you just take off your 15 or 20% in your head. I purposely styled my hair with this today because I washed my hair last night, let it dry overnight, and woke up with crazy hair. I will insert a picture here. So I wanted to see what it'd be like if I just straightened my hair using this. So it's not gonna be as perfect and non-frizzy as if I used a flat iron. And I do recommend in the sale, they have my personal favorite straightening flat iron, whatever you wanna call it, which is the GHD One Inch Classic Styler. I'll list that below, everything will be listed below. But what I do like about this and why I'm gonna still recommend it and I would have repurchased it is um, this is more, more better. This is better for fixing the next day hair or if you've already styled your hair and you want to quickly get some of the frizzies out because you ran outside and it was humid and your hair expanded. That's what happens to me all the time. Or if you have naturally straight-ish hair and you just want to get some of that frizz out without losing any body, this is perfect. If I worked in an office um, I would keep this at the office in my desk because it's very handy and I, I think like I said, it's like $35 full price and it did a really good job as you can see. It just glides right through. It doesn't stick to anything. I can get better at this and like learn how to straighten it a little bit better I think and learn how to make it like curve under on the ends but I didn't do that today. The other big time expensive um, hair tool I mentioned in my October favorites. I have the big thing stuck on it. This is from T3, it's the World Trio. Not gonna go into a lot of detail since you just saw me talk about this. This particular set comes with three different um, wands. You can also buy just this um, thing with one. You can buy interchangeable heads. There's all kinds of options. On my wish list is one of the um, barrels that comes with the clamp, just so I have like everything I need in one item. Let's talk something on the other end of the price scale, and that's this guy. This is an Invisibobble. They come in a package of three for $8. They are, to, they are basically hair ties, and they look like old-fashioned phone cords. I don't know if you can see this, and some of you millennials may have no idea what I'm talking about, but um, these are great because you can pull your hair back. Let's do that. And it doesn't leave ridges in your hair. So that's kind of cool. And they do stretch out, but then when you take them off, you know what, like, mm, no. Um, when you take them out, see, it, it stretched a little bit. They do go back to their normal size. I did pick up the Verb Ghost Oil. It's nice. I like, um, it's very mild scent, and I like the pump version. However, it is no match for my favorite, 
the Moroccan oil. It does come in a lighter version, which if I were to repurchase it, I still have so much left. Um, when I am going to repurchase this, which is any, not anytime soon, I will get the light version because my hair is a lot finer than it used to be. This is much thinner in consistency, a little more slip, not as heavy feeling, and the scent. I mean, you could just rub this all over your body. The scent is that good. If you want a really nice gift, just one thing to give to someone, and I think it packs a really big punch. This would make a great hostess gift over the holidays, is just this guy. This is the Luxitan Milk Concentrate um, in the almond scent. It has French all over it, but let's just stick with the English. It is a beautiful, heavy glass jar. It is a wonderful moisturizer. The scent is um, very non-offensive, let's say. It's lovely. There are a lot of things in the almond line that I enjoy, but I think that is a great body product to have as a splurge for yourself, or like I said, a great gift around the holidays. It's just something that you would normally not buy for yourself, which I think makes a great gift. Um, sticking with that, I've mentioned it before, I'll mention it again, the Laura Mercier collection of hand creams and body creams. They have now the holiday sets where you get like four or five of the scents, littler sizes. And again, um, they make great teacher gifts because you can buy as many as you need and break them up, wrap them in something and it's a very economical way to give gifts. And again, it's like a little luxury thing that most people don't go, oh, I need to stock up on my Laura Mercier scented lotion. No. So I think that's a really nice thing and I recommend it every year and I will continue to recommend it because I just think it's a really nice gift. Okay, this is random, but it's right in front of me. I just ran out of this. This is the best brush cleaner on the market. It's the Beauty Blender brand solid cleanser and it comes in this little case and mine is totally, there's still water in it, totally empty. It's a solid bar of soap basically to clean beauty blenders, brushes, what have you. I like this so much better than the Sephora brand. The Sephora brand is less expensive, but it leaves a film on my brushes and on my beauty blenders and it broke me out. So stick with the original. My all time favorite fragrance, unfortunately, is not carried at Sephora. Um, I think I've been recommending this for about five or six, maybe seven years. It's the Hermes Amber Nargule, if you just are curious. They don't carry that particular scent at Sephora, which is sad, because um, that would be a great place to get 20% off on that. But what I can recommend are some runner-ups. Um, one that I love very, very much is from Elizabeth and James. It's their bourbon scent. I love warm, spicy, and amber, and this hits all those notes, and it's much more affordable than the Hermes scent. Another one that I don't have anymore is from Nest. The Midnight Fleur scent is very similar in tone. It has some warmth to it, and it's a beautiful bottle. It comes in different sizes, comes in a rollerball. And then this was just sent to me, and I'm glad that it was, because I would have never known about it. I would have never smelled it. I would never be wearing it. It's from Ralph Lauren. I think it's called the Ralph Lauren Woman Fragrance. They actually engraved my initials on the bottle. And this scent is, and I love this, watch. Bing. Um, it's floral, but it's a very grown-up floral because they combine it with a woody scent. So when you first put it on, you smell the floral, and you're like, okay, that's nice. It's a, it's a little flowery. Then the wood kicks in, and now it's a very grown-up um, pretty scent. I get, a, I've been getting compliments left and right when by like total strangers going, Ooh, you smell good. So I love this. Let's talk about what's on my lips. I bought this in the, um, friends and family sale. It was one of their Sephora favorites, nude lip stuff. I can't remember the exact. Oh yes, I can. Cause it's right here. Give me some nude lip. And I'm wearing two of the colors, the tart, the little turquoise one here, the tart one. And then it's this, um, buxom lip gloss actually on top. In hindsight, I like this. I should have just splurged and bought the big one, the Give Me More Lip, because I think it has a better range of colors, and I, I'm playing with lipsticks that I never would have picked up from brands I've never tried, so I'm really enjoying this, and I may have to go buy the other one, too. I can't buy everything on my list, but I'm really eyeing that Give Me More Lip. Another thing that's on my wish list I don't have, it's in my shopping cart, it's the Bite Beauty Perfect Bite Amuse Bouche Lipstick Set for $25, um, full price, and I'm just kind of obsessed with the um, lightest shades in there, so you get four lipsticks for 25, well, 20% off, $25. So those are the two lip specific lip products. Let's talk palettes since I have about a million of them piled up in front of me. There are quite a few new palettes that I have my eye on. I can't buy all of them, but the ones that I um, have on my list and I'm thinking about, one is from a brand called Violet Voss. I have not swatched this, but the reviews are all really positive, which is unusual. The two in particular that I am 
intrigued by are Holy Grail, yes, they named the palette Holy Grail, and Taupe Notch, like top notch, taupe notch. Probably gonna, if I'm gonna get either one, it's probably gonna be Holy Grail because taupe runs a little cool and I like a little warm and Holy Grail is definitely more warm toned. Um, another one, speaking of warm toned, is the Sephora Pro Warm Palette. Um, I think it's pricey for a Sephora brand palette, but you get a ton of shades and I think I would wear pretty much every single one of them, except maybe there's like a bright yellow, I wouldn't. I would also recommend all of the Tartlet palettes. I have two, the original and the Tartlet in Bloom. I've used this one so much that the, um, oops, there goes more. The packaging is flaking off on me. There is a new one, Toasted, that looks of all the warm toned orangey red palettes out there, I think that one looks to be the most wearable. However, I don't think I personally am gonna grab that one since I have so much already that is similar enough. Also, some oldies but goodies. The whole Too Faced collection, personally, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette, the Peach palette, the original chocolate palette, um, the semi-sweet palette, and then one that nobody ever talks about anymore but is a really nice little palette is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette, which is just a really nice, travel-friendly, easy, no-brainer palette to have. So if you haven't grabbed any of those yet, there is still time. Um, one thing that I just picked up from Nordstrom, actually, but paid full price for, oh well, was the Stila Written in the Stars. I put it back together for this video, but I've been using the kitten one. It's those um, glittery, like basically liquid shadows. They are stunning. Not something you generally wear every day. They're very glittery. They pack a big punch. They're gorgeous. You get three of these for $25. They're not full price, but seriously, who's going to use up a whole bottle, like a full size bottle of glitter eyeshadow? You're not. So this is a great deal. Actually, I bought this from Nordstrom because it was sold out at the friends and family sale. So I hope it's back in stock. Um, on the other extreme end of palettes, again, bought this full price, kind of annoyed. This is the, um, where is the one I wanna show you? This is the newest Tom Ford palette in my collection. It's already dirty. I just picked this up. You're gonna be seeing a video on it soon. This is the Honeymoon palette. Oh, yes, it's $85. It is. And it's gorgeous, and it's, it's just gorgeous. I also have the, um, I would recommend and have the Coco Mirage palette. It's all pretty much matte except this guy here, very wearable. And the other one that I really like is Golden Mink. I also have my eye on Disco Dip, Disco. It starts with Disco and then New Dip, but I, can't, I just, I've gotta stop myself at some point. Why I recommend these, even though they are ridiculously overpriced, is because my Coco Mirage is, I think, five or six years old, and is still as creamy and pigmented and lovely as the day that I got it. So, and blends like a dream. So if you only own a few things, that's a nice investment to have. Definitely a good time to grab a foundation or two or 10. I'm just kidding. The four that I recommend, again, I have fair skin, obviously, dry skin, maturing skin, and sensitive skin. It's so fun, it still breaks out. So the ones I would recommend that I really like are the Dior Forever Foundation, the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. By the way, I have the Forever in the shade 15. I have Born This Way in Pearl. This is more of my winter shade. The Shiseido Synchro Skin Glow, which was an Allure, I think it was an Allure, was it an Allure winner? I think it was um, for 2017. I usually wear it in the shade Neutral 2. I could go into Neutral 1 in a month or two. And then my newest all-time favorite, oh my gosh, it's lovely. And you definitely want the discount on this one. It's the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I have it in the shade 5. Love those. A concealer, I really want to, oh, and there's one more. I have another one. It's the IT CC Plus Cream. Technically not a foundation, but covers like one. I wear it in the shade Fair. Um, I could do a little dollop of light and warm it up a little bit for me in the winter, but full on winter, I'm fair. Summer shade, light, because I am the lightest person in the world. And then a concealer that I've had for a while, I think I actually got it in the last Sephora sale, either in the spring or last fall, is from Tarte. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12 Hour Concealer. It's a little stick concealer, like so. I think I might like this better, even than the Clay de Peau one. And it's significantly less expensive, and I have it in the shade Fair Light. I don't know why, but that's the one I grabbed. 
It's just so handy. It's cream. It's a lot more creamy than the clay to po one. I feel like it's easier to blend and I blend it either with my finger or with the beauty blender. And it's just, it's, it's a really great little concealer. I'm not for under eye blemishes. I'm not tried at under eye. And then some random things that I'd like to recommend. First, this blush, you're gonna hear more about this actually in a Nordstrom video coming up, but this is the baby size. You cannot get this at Sephora. This is this baby size is exclusive to Nordstrom, but the full size, this is the NARS blush in Impassioned. I'm wearing it now, it's very subtle. It's beautiful, I love this. I'm passionate about Impassioned. Another um, blush, a few blushes that I would recommend to grab now are the Tarte Amazonian Clay ones, specifically Exposed Natural Beauty, captive and sensual love all of those um i recommended this in my favorites it's sold at sephora so if you want it grab it now it's the makeup forever mist and fix o2 setting spray it's great finally i keep looking for the best mascara in the world and i think i just had a bad batch the last time i will be repurchasing the it superhero um, mascara it's just it, there's no other it is so good and then um some more randomness, Sephora brushes. They are amazing. There's so many great ones. This is the Airbrush Blush Brush, number 54. I don't use it for blush. I use it for contour and then, you know, go this way and then spin it to blend it out. And there you go. The Bobbi Brown Bronzer, you all recommended it. I grabbed it. I think mine is in Golden Natural, I wanna say, whatever the lightest shade is. It's, you'll hear more about it later this month, but just real quickly, cause I don't want you to miss out on the sale, get it really nice really good price point for a high-end bronzer and then i got a lot of flack for this last year but advent calendars um i think they're really neat obviously if you celebrate christmas they're a lovely gift to grab now in early november to give to someone or have for yourself as you're counting down to christmas but even if you don't celebrate christmas it is chock full of deluxe size makeup stuff. Every makeup lover loves the little baby, you know, makeup sizes like this. So advent calendars are pretty neat and you can always rip it open and divide it up into gifts to give to other people. And the two that they have at Sephora, they have six, but the two that caught my eye, the one is the Sephora brand Winter Wonderland, just chock full of really cool, all kinds of different kinds of makeup. And then the other one is from Lexitan. I love Lexitan. You saw me talk about this guy, Hiara. Um, all different kinds of Lexitan hand creams and lotions and potions and oils and scents. And, and I just, those two um, of the six they have currently stood out to me. So I recommend advent calendars. So that's my general list. I know I forgot a few things. So be sure you open up the whole description box and read it. I will have broken it down into categories and stuff. As always, I look forward to your recommendations because you've given me such great ones. So please put those in the comments below so we can all help each other out. So if you are a VIB Rouge, a VIB or a BI, happy shopping. This is the best time of the year, or one of them. I hope that you have a lovely haul, and um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.